Hi everyone, in this video lecture, I'll try to explain the morphology of the permanent maxillary canine. The permanent maxillary canine are the pointed teeth. Among the anterior, you can see these are the pointed teeth. These are the third teeth from the midline. You can see first, this is the midline, first, second, and third. First, maxillary central maxillary lateral and these this is the third one the maxillary canine these teeth emerge into the oral cavity at the age of 11 to 12 years and the root completion is at 13 to 15 years due to its anatomy these teeth are considered as the most stable tooth in the dental art so the maxillary canines are considered as the most stable tooth in the dental arch these teeth have basically tearing function. This tooth has a pointed cusp tip with two slopes. This one is the mesial cuspal slope that is shorter as compared to the distal cuspal slope which is larger. The outline of the crown from the cervical line to the mesial contact area is usually convex or straight as compared to the outline of the crown from the cervical line to the distal contact area that is usually concave. The mesial contact area is at the junction of the middle and the incisal third while the distal contact area is in the middle third of the crown. The convexity of the cervical line is towards the root apex. This tooth has a conical root with a, con with a curvature of the root towards the distal side. The crown, the crown and the root of this tooth both taper palatally. So you can see part of the mesial and the distal side from the palatal aspect. The single limb of this tooth is very well developed. The marginal ridges are also very well developed. This one is the mesial marginal ridge and this one is the distal marginal ridge. A lingual ridge is present in the center and it divides the lingual fossa into two half. This one is the mesial lingual fossa and this one is the distal lingual fossa. The tooth has greater bulk and the greater labiopalatal measurement as compared to the any of the anterior tooth. The outline of the crown is wedge shape. The root, the surface of the root is smooth. And the labial outline is more convex as compared to the any of the anterior tooth. The cervical line it exhibit less curvature as compared with that of the mesial side. The marginal ridge it is more heavier and irregular on the distal side. There's a developmental depression on the root surface. You can see this is a developmental depression that is present on the distal surface. On the mesial surface the root was smooth you can see this developmental depression over here on the distal side uh, this tooth has a greater labiopalatal dimension as compared to the mesiodistal dimension you can see this one is a middle labial lobe that is very well developed you can see the mesial marginal ridge and the distal marginal ridge and the well-developed cingulum from the incisal aspect. 